Hello, so you find me today not in a dogging location as you might think looking around in case there are any doggers <clears throat> but we are actually at peak rail in uh well it's around rousley matlock area anyway we are camping here in the van but it's actually at a uh, you know a heritage railway the railway isn't running today but i thought i'd still be able to have a look around the yard and see if I can see anything. So let's see what we can find. There we go. Class 37 in large logo livery 37310. Obviously, we are here camping, the vans are all over there. All the gates are open, and it doesn't say I can't walk around here, obviously, but I'm not going to go nosing around. Uh, there is a class 50 buried somewhere in there. I'd really love to go and see that, but I'm like I say, I'm not going to walk along the tracks. I've just walked along this path here, which is fair game in my eyes. If we are actually, I mean, Peak Rail know we're camping on the site, it's an organized event. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to go trespassing on the lines, so I'll see if I can add anything else in. There's 50030. I don't know where 029 is. Yeah, just peeking out there, look. Class 14, 901. Affectionately known as a teddy bear. This is uh, Darley Dale Station. Lovely old station that is. This is Matlock Station. It's shared between, um, I was going to say British Rail then, shows my age, shared between Network Rail and um, Peak Rail, the left hand side is obviously the heritage side, unused, rusty tracks and the right hand side is the main line that way down there to Rowsley where we've walked from and then the other side of the bridge you can see there where the the track ends what about that? you see many of them about do you? Yes, he's out on the bike. By the way, I am aware I have no cycle hat on. Um, yeah, I've never had one in my life. Uh, I think I'll have to get one, so don't get nagging me in the comments. I'm literally not going to go any faster than this. And he, uh, I'm going to go on a cycle path, so it's fairly safe. I've got uh, inner tubes everywhere. Actually went out on the bike, you'll see in the thrown together video of what I did. Uh, this was one of the new tubes. Come back on the van today, went to take it off the back of the van and it was flat, got a thorn in it. So I've now found where the puncher is but I haven't got a puncher kit. I've now got the other two old inner tubes blown up trying to find punches in them because one of them goes down. I think it's this one, I wrote V on it. It's, it's leaking from the valve and I can't tighten it anymore. So I'm gonna leave them for a week and see what happens. But what I am gonna do is uh, run Agatha up to temperature. It hasn't been started for weeks. Um, Cause come the end of March, I'll be getting it out. 
can't do it any sooner just got too much on so that's what I'm gonna do now um, all the inner arch has been wax oiled and so has I don't know if you can see this this is really bad footage I've done all the edges of the sills and also all of the um, hydro gas pipes so yeah that's what I've been doing I haven't been filming it because I've got so much to do um, yeah and I've done the other side as well run the gun all under this sill edge there and as you can see all down the side of the the sill same on this side this is the uh, passenger side and then the same all down there first job connect the battery up I'll leave it with the battery off and uh, I imagine we'll get a load of cranking because there's going to be no fuel. Let's see what we've got. Right, so the reason you saw me with the multimeter, the uh, alternator light is glowing really dimly on the dashboard and uh, I thought it wasn't charging but it is and then it does actually go out at higher revs but not on tick over. I perhaps never noticed it before because it's fairly dark in the garage. You can see it there, look how dim that is. Um, as I say, we're just running it up to temperature, but it does go out at higher revs. Got a little bit of popping on overrun. And there you go, I'm just gonna run it up for a bit mess about doing something else while it runs up. Right, so what I found uh, while I was messing with the bike, taking the wheel off and just cleaning up a bit, I've got a loose crank, look at that there. You see that? I don't know if you can see the movement in there, so I'm just gonna tighten that up a bit. And that's done. It was just, this was loose. It's 14 mil socket. Lovely jubbly. That's it, we're up to temp, the fan is cut in. And now we're off again. That's it then, I can knock that off now. Best disconnect the battery. There you go then, I might as well wrap this one up from inside the Allegro, been a while. Um, yeah, that's the best thing I like about now, I've changed the channel a bit. Anything, I can just put anything I like on there. And I appreciate some of it isn't popular. What can I say? Yeah, I'm enjoying it because I can just upload what I like. People watch, they watch, if they don't, they don't. Hey. So, hopefully the next thing I do with Agatha is get her out of the garage and go for a drive. 
coincidentally, the day I'm filming this, which I think is the 13th of March, if it isn't, I'll correct it, but I'm pretty sure it is, is a year to the day that I fetched her back from the body shop after all the uh, rust repairs and the paint. So, um, yeah, I'm late driving her this year, unfortunately. But as I say, hopefully, end of March, we'll be out the garage and then I'm going to leave her on the front again um, all through spring and summer so I can just use her a bit more. So yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-da!